Hello there, it's Peeky Peek Happy Face, and it's time to begin a new game, Scarlet Devil Mario 2. It's not really technically new, I mean, it's kind of new, but it's not new, it's, it's there. Volume's a little low, I guess, I don't know. I'll have to check the whole settings in the first few videos. Anyway, this is called Scarlet Devil Mansion Mario 2, Raymoosh Challenge. Yes, that's, that's what it's called. And, uh, this is a level, we're gonna skip it and move on into the game. This is the sequel of the level we of the game we just played, and uh, I'm kind of distracted because I can hear myself in the background, and it's kind of confusing. So hopefully I don't hear myself in the background too much. There's Toads and Luigi. Uh, so yeah, this this ver this game is a lot. Uh, different? It's kind of different. There's a lot more custom stuff in, involved in it. After all, there's custom music to begin. And there, there's Reimu. She's uh, up there in her little orb. So, hi Reimu, we're in this little orb, and I've got a lot of text to read. What a crazy world, huh? This is pretty strange. That is to say, I guess I have no choice but to play this hack. Finally, Mario gets to act... act for, finally... Finally, Mario actually gets to break into the Scarlet Devil Mansion. And that was all Reimu said. And now this is Mario. Um, uh, this is dated. When is Ichiro going to finally enter his age of glory? During the World Baseball Classic? For me, for me, it's now. Yep, that's Mario. Mario loves World Baseball Classic, apparently. Anyway, we can't move anywhere, so let's start this level. This is a this is a really cool screen. There's a door and stuff. This level's called Yoshi's Counterattack. This is a Yoshi talking. It's apparently Supreme Commander Yoshi. Even after working so hard for you, you always cast us aside. The ranks have assembled. This is our counterattack. Charge! Oh no, they're attacking me. Ouch. I'm a miserable person. I'm gonna bounce on Yoshi's. This is a really hard level. I, I mean, I, I anyway. Um. Hi! You beat us already. It's regrettable, but it seems to be destined that you are forever able to cast us into the abyss, says Yoshi. And that's the first level. Oh boy, oh boy. Gotta beat the first level. Oh, hang on a second. I gotta change the text down because, you know, this isn't done. There we go. Alright. So, I was busy trying to change my text while that was going on. And, you know, this is this is Scarlet Devil Mario 2. It's all back to easy town for now. But let's go and do a retrospective in fog. So, uh, here's a... Here's a 1-1 recreation. I think I broke something. Everyone has to do those 1-1 one -one recreations in ROM hacks. There's a Hammer Brother and yes stuff. It doesn't look like the screen scrolls, so that's interesting. I guess we are playing Mario 1 with fog. I don't think Mario 1 had fog. And now we're in the pipe, and I'm taking the bonus. There's a dragon coin in here. This is backwards. It's not supposed to be this way. And it, in fact, didn't help me, and I died in World 1-1. One -one. I feel depressed. Right now, I don't have any way of farming lives, so die right now, dying is kind of bad. So, we don't want to die in World 1-1. One -one. We're not going to take that pipe anymore. It didn't help me. We're just going to skip that hammer brother by getting jumped on. Is there a one-up in this area right about here? Yes, there is. Thank you for being original. There's a spike there. I'm not sure there's supposed to be a spike there. I don't remember. I haven't played Mario 1 in a while. That block's there. I think this is... Nope. Well, this is another mushroom. And I got killed by the road. What is wrong with me? Uh, okay. This is Mario 1. I don't die in Mario 1. I mean, it has Super Mario Land enemies, so I guess it's a Mario 1 recreation in Super Mario Land. I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't... I don't... No what's going on entirely. This game is supposed to be a lot more um, interesting. For, it'll be much more uh, custom.
custom, that's for sure. I already said that. I have to repeat myself. We're killing things with fire, because I actually managed to get a fireball, and then I lose it immediately. But then get another one. And then lose it immediately. And I'm playing just awfully. Trying not to get killed by these guys. Whoa, okay. I can't even get the dragon coin because it's scrolled off screen. That's a shame. Wow, you jumped really far. Oh man, we're in this part of the song. I don't ever hear this part of the song. I'm too really beat the level. Is it really going to end at world one? Oh, here's an E-Tank. I have five up. There's a f arrow on the flagpole. We're going to hit it at the top. And that's the second level. It kind of feels like it's the first level, but technically they say world world one is this... This translation I have is a little different. Oh, it's that going inside the castle thing. That's always cool. So this orb thing in the top right uh, of the screen means there you didn't collect all the dragon coins in it. I'm not going to worry about it right now. Um, until I know I need the dragon coins. I'm not that crazy. Some of them will be in difficult places. Anyway, this level's called Fog, Sky... Fo oh, hang on. Fog and Sky and Yoshi and... That's it. And now we're in Yoshi's Island for some reason. That's what you do when you go to 1-1. One, one. You do Yoshi's Island for some reason. Yes, you do. We're gonna fall and do some spikes. It's Yoshi's Island. I went straight in a pipe and kind of... We're underground. There's a text box here. There's a text box here. There's a text box here. I'm dumb. Okay. Um, when close to the goal, enter the pipe marked by differently colored coins in order to return to the midpoint. You'd be, uh, you'd be wise to enter that pipe with y if Yoshi isn't around. Levels with dragon coins will have a black circle by the level name. Collect five dragon coins in those levels and the dragon coin mark will light up. I don't think that's the right text. But uh, apparently I don't have one. Here's Yoshi text. Neglect us, abandon us, just or do whatever. We'll do your bidding, sir. Sure, we'll pretend for a long stash. However, it won't be long now. One day we'll do stash in. That's what Yoshi says. Uh, the last sentence was in parentheses, so he was thinking it. I'm getting tons of coins. Is this the same? This is the same. I, doesn't, I don't feel like that's the right text box, but... You know, we'll worry about it later. Anyway, the background music seems to be echoing right now. I'm not sure why. I lost my Yoshi! No! Yoshi, come back! I killed myself trying to go after Yoshi. I was trying to be nice. I didn't want to lose my Yoshi so soon. Alright, this is off to a great start. I'm kind of confused. And it's just 1-3? I mean, I really would call this 1-2, but my translation says 1-3. Fascinating. I go in the pipe again and get the Yoshi. I, I want Yoshi or something, I believe. So we're gonna get Yoshi. I could spend my time getting the coins again, but I kind of don't want to. But I guess I'm going to. Alright, that's enough. Alright. No, don't do that again. Alright. That's all the football players. Everything's back. I know. It's like I've been playing any game. I haven't felt that. I don't know. It feels different playing a game from the start, basically. I lost Yoshi, but I got the midpoint, so I'm okay with it. And then I lost my power up and got in this end. And got, and I'm okay with it. And then we're going to enter this pipe. There's another text box. Now, see, this is the Dragon Coins text box. I don't know what I was doing. So, yeah, that one text box wasn't there for some reason. But that's okay. Um, I don't know what it said. But this is basically, when close to the goal, enter the pipe by mark, uh, enter the pipe marked by the differently colored coins in order to return to the midpoint. You'd be wise to enter that pipe if Yoshi isn't around levels with a Dragon Coin to have a black circle by the level name. Click five Dragon Coins in those levels and the Dragon Coin marker will light up. All those say DC. But I'm just answering and translating it for you saying Dragon Coin. Anyway, moving on. So we want to have Yoshi 
uh, at the end of the level as I'm getting at. There's a bullet, brother. Bullet brothers are great. Bullet brothers are great. I lost Yoshi again. I guess I'll go back and get him. I was told to have Yoshi or something, so I'd be wise to enter it if Yoshi isn't around. So I suppose I'm supposed to have Yoshi. So we're gonna have Yoshi and do it as long as I'm not an idiot and die in like two, then three or so seconds. Don't do it again. I almost did the exact same thing, thinking I could jump up there. I guess I can try to get all the dragon coins. Or not. I just will die instead. This is this is great. You know, I've been playing with save states a lot, so I've been playing a little bit more reckless. It'll have to I have to get more into the swing of things to remember to not play with save states. I disabled my save state button so I wouldn't do it again. So you can thank me for that. But uh, we're gonna go in here and do this. World 1 is so much fun. It looks like we're almost at the end of World 1 already though, so I'm not sure what to do. I don't need the Dragon Coins now. See, that's the one thing I don't want to do about the Dragon Coins is essentially I f I'd have to beat all the levels in one try. So this is the one with different colored coins. I'd wise into this pipe if Yoshi isn't around. And I guess that's why, because I can't go in that door. I can't go past that barrier because I have to have Yoshi. So basically, I have to make it through the second half of this level without getting hit. These levels are incredibly short, by the way. You know, I've been playing, like, extreme, the long levels, especially in some cases. And now this is, like, very short levels. It's kind of confusing. It's very interesting. I bounced up there to get past you. I'm going to jump past this part, and I'm going to jump over here and bounce on that guy and bounce on that guy bounce on that guy and go in here and call the level. Yay! We did it! And there's a guy who's gonna bring down lightning. And we just... Oh no! I got back on. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Alright, let's do the level here. Although I'm gonna need to fix my translation again, so hold on a second. Alright, translation is taken care of. Got it. I didn't... I kind of took a little bit more time than I probably should have. But anyway, this level is called Scarlet Devil Mansion Gate. So we're at the Scarlet Devil Mansion Gate. We're finally going to enter the gate. It's music. And there's some birds in the background. This is crazy stuff. And it's auto-scrolling as we're running towards the gate, going to the end of the thing. There's a... That's Chun-Li. Hi, low Chun-Li. I'm going to spin jump on you. Okay, you pushed me back. Like, okay, you pushed me back pretty far. Yeah, see, that's, that's one of the weird things. There was Chun-Li randomly around. And there's that guy. Uh, he's there. He's always been there. There's dragon coins. I already got two dragon coins. I don't want to actually bonk my head on those. Gonna kill you. It'd actually be wise for me to spin jump a bit more because I don't kill them by jumping on them. But I do kill them by spin jumping, spin jumping on them like so. There's a hothead. There's a big hothead. He has a hothead. There's Chun-Li again. So I can get pushed into Chun-Li. Does it hurt me? It kind of doesn't. But it, uh, I bet later it'll push me into obstacles that will actually kill me, and that'll be much more fun. I don't remember if this game has a difficulty system or not. I only watched a video of the first part um, just recently, just to make sure or something. Um, so I really don't remember what else is going on, really. So I can't remember from how long ago I watched this series. So, you know... It's all going blind for me again. I really don't remember over half of it. I kind of remember the bosses though, That's, but I don't remember how they work. I just know the, char the Toho characters we're going to meet in this game. And I'm going to leave it a surprise for you as I get bounced on by that, uh, that Bowser statue there. And hopefully he stays over there. Uh, no, he's coming over this one. No, go, yeah, that's right. Go over there. Stay over there. You are not wanted. You're dead. Hey, look everyone, I got all the dragon coins in the level. Isn't that fantastic? There's a hopping flame and another hopping guy. There's a lot of hopping guys. Is that a sign or something? I am got filtered and there's a text box. Cool. This is as far as you go. Hmm? But wait, if I'm not mistaken, legend says old man stash is pretty good in a fight. 
that says Hong, Hong Mei Ling. Strike the Scarlet Devil Mansion's gatekeeper, Hong Mei Li, three times with a Goomba to defeat her. So, yay, we're gonna... I shouldn't be doing that, I should have grabbed the midpoint first. So we're gonna fight the gatekeeper, we're gonna fight Mei Ling. Oh boy. There she is. She looks very 8-bit. It's kind of funny. Oh doy. And those are some 8-bit fireballs that I just assumed I could spin jump on, so I can. Uh, I don't actually know, you know what else to expect. Okay, she just smashed the ground. Oh, she's smashing the ground a bunch of times. That's fine. But we have to defeat her three times with a Goomba. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of that's going to be the same. That's not a Goomba. That's a hopping guy who didn't ever hop. It was like he was a guardian or something. And I got hit by a Mei Ling. That's unfortunate. So we're just going to keep on bouncing on fireballs, I suppose. I guess I can. So this might take even longer than all the other bosses. At least it's only three hits instead of like five or ten or seven or twenty-four. And there's our Goomba. Hello, I hit you with a Goomba. Now we gotta do it two more times. Does the pattern ever change? I keep getting hit by that sliding attack because I'm jumping around like an idiot. So I should probably stop doing that. Otherwise we might be here a while because I'll keep doing the same part over and over again. Anyway, I noticed our HUD up there says Reimu, so I guess we're Reimu or something disguised as Mario. I don't know, I don't know. Last, all the time beforehand, I said Marissa. I knew that I shouldn't have stayed in that corner, but I stayed in that corner and immediately got vaporized. jumping again. Stop jumping. Someone's got to remind me to stop jumping. Unfortunately, none of you can tell me to stop jumping, so I'll just have to remember and start reminding myself to not jump, basically. You were way not even close to me there, Mei-Ling. I'm not sure what your plan was. This is technically, like, easy version boss, so maybe this bottle will be a bottle? This battle will be a lot harder in the later half? I don't know. I can hear myself in the background again. It's satisfying, I guess. I don't know. Stop jumping. There's no reason to be jumping in this battle. So she does that four times, then just goes in the corner over there, and then drops a Goomba. This is a really difficult boss fight. At least it's easy mode, and so it doesn't have to be difficult right now. I'm jumping again. Someone keep reminding me to not jump. I'm getting hit in dumb ways because I'm literally just jumping around the battlefield, being impatient, and just not standing still. Learning to stand still would be a good thing in this case. I don't know if I'm going to speed this up or not. I might just do it a little bit so, you know, we don't have a longer video. I don't know. That almost got run over there. Don't jump around like an idiot. I know you want to, but you don't do it. Now you can kill the guy. Except I didn't kill the guy, so now we can start entering panic mode as I'm only one hit away from death, and it would be such a shame if I die at this point when there's only one Goomba left. All we have to do is avoid getting crushed by Mei Ling here. So I'm gonna stand over here and hope that I get crushed. That would be great. We're gonna get the Goomba and kill... There we go. And there's a text box that says, this is, uh, she says, I'm sorry, mistress, because she didn't protect us. I'm going to grab this key. Is this the key, the key to open? This is the key. This is the key. There's a tin up! Oh, it was actually a tin up. Wow. Cool. I'm happy that was a tin up. Oh, yeah. I guess I was supposed to unlock the gate. I unlocked the gate! It's time to go to the Scarlet Devil Mansion. Let us go! Wow, this place is big. Whoops, I don't want to do that yet. Uh, hang on. Because I'm pretty sure... 
Look, it's the Scarlet Devil Mansion. It's actually here. We're going to enter it next time. Isn't that exciting? You wanted to see new stuff and stop seeing the same ice level, cave level, and shrine level over and over again and the same bosses? Well, you're going to get your wish as now we're entering the Scarlet Devil Mansion proper next time. This has been Pika Pika Heavy Face Planes. Scarlet Devil Mario 2. I gotta remember to start adding that. And join me next time when we break into the mansion. Because it looks like the first level is right at the mansion door. So that's exciting. I will see you later.